We are going through literally all the clips of Oscar de la Hoya potentially on cocaine throughout till the very end of the video. The symptoms of cocaine use include sweating, dilated pupils, feeling euphoric, intense pleasure sensation, excitability, talkativeness and overconfidence. All of these symptoms can be seen in this particular Oscar de la Hoya meet with Ryan Garcia. We can't really zoom in on the pupils, but his eyelids are very widely open, almost out of sheer excitement due to no any real reason other than just being high, probably on drugs like cocaine. This video shows Oscar being overtly excited with his eyes wide open again, acting somewhat paranoid. <laughs> They're shooting back to Vegas! They're shooting back to Vegas. <laughs> Big titty committee! <laughs> Cocaine can induce psychosis characterized by paranoia, impaired sense of reality, hallucinations, irritability, and physical aggression. He is apparently trying to box a girl again for no apparent reason, acting all paranoid. Did you pop? Did you pop my titties? I swear. <laughs> Cocaine can cause aggressive behavior in both acute and chronic users. You looked great. You feel great. You were amazing. And guess what? Now it's my turn. Hey, Mario, in shape. Hey, Al, Look I at know the way he's making him a miss. Al, I know you're a straight arrow guy, but how is it me feeling high for the first time? Well, I will say this is probably the first boxing broadcast on which I've gotten a contact. Oh, okay. I'm going to say it's you the have, first you, one. You have a cocktail. Yeah, so do I. So. And, and it's the first one to actually get a contact. Mario, 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 you know. Mario, what do you think, Mario? Interestingly, Oscar has admitted to use of cocaine in his interview 10 years back. Was it just alcohol or were there drugs involved as well? There were drugs. Um, what kind of my, drugs? My drug of choice was cocaine and alcohol. Um, it, it took me to a place where I felt safe. Chronic cocaine users can also experience chills, tremors, depression and insomnia after they stop using the drug, which are so unpleasant that this often leads to relapse. Cocaine was recent in the last two years, last two and a half years. Um... But as this comment suggests, 10 years later, Oscar De La Coca is still going strong. So do you have any comment back to Oscar De La Hoya? Because I know you haven't responded to him yet. <laughs> Give me a headline, Dana. Give me a headline. Come on, man. Nasal sniffing of cocaine can cause nosebleeds. <laughs> He's all jacked up on the yayo. I have a special coat. I have a special coat. Whether or not the coke is special, the effects, however, remain the same. A good friend of yours, Oscar De La Hoya, has announced he's coming out of retirement to box again. I just wondered if you had any. Cocaine isn't cheap, it's expensive. Gotta make money. Cocaine can also cause heart attacks, strokes, seizures, arrhythmias, and sudden cardiac death. And the other thing is that cocaine isn't cheap. So why would you buy all these problems that too for a large sum of money?